right, welcome back to Big Board. How's everybody doing? It's a Friday afternoon. Had a couple of beers with the guys at uh, the office and uh, we're back. Came home looking forward to and hoping that, uh, against hope, in fact, that uh, urban operations would have arrived from France. But uh, no such luck, uh, despite being one of the earliest pre-orders, the game's still not here and I'm assured it's been shipped, so we're waiting. And uh, in fact, same with GMT. Uh, GMT uh, actually decided, uh, you know, they would start shipping their next war supplement and they're excitedly waiting for that and that is uh, shipping also, but not turned up. And in the meantime, I've ordered two games on, let's see, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday from Revolution Games. And what do you know? Here they are, Revolution Games. So let's, uh, we know what's going to get played before those other games. It'll be uh, these two bad boys, Patton's Vanguard and Red Typhoon. Two very different games. Uh, one is an area movement game and one is a traditional hex and counter game, but a very simple six page uh, set of uh, type of game, uh, six page of rules, I should say. Nice uh, Ziploc bag. Yeah, you know, obviously I would have preferred this to be boxed, right? But that's just the way Revolution do a lot of their games is they uh, produce a, a pretty good product overall. Let's see what the counters are like. Yep, counters are actually nice. They're a decent thickness and they look like they'll easy punch out relatively well. Nice clear fonts, actually large fonts for old men. It's probably a good thing. But it's also probably representative of the, of the complexity of the game. I, I find sometimes that simple games tend to have bigger fonts for some reason on the, on the counters. It's kind of like, well, you're playing a simple game. Let's make the numbers big. It's kind of funny. Uh, I think this is six pages of rules, right? Yeah, it's movement. How do you move? How do you fight? How do you manage supply? And what do you do with uh, how to win, of course, and then withdrawal and reinforcements? And you've got your fixed deployment set up in the back here. And then a full-size map, you know, your typical, uh, whatever it is, 36 by 24 map here. I've got it upside down. Let's spin it around. It uh, certainly evokes a winter theme with the color palette. I'm just trying to make room here. Uh, so hopefully you can, you can see that okay. I'm trying to look at uh, this Vyazma, right? So we're in the northern section of the Eastern Front. Let me just fold this over here. We've got Vyazma, uh, probably, yeah, there's Kaluga here on the right. Oh, you can't see that. Shoot, sorry. There's Kaluga here, Vyazma. Map is broken up into sectors by the looks of it. I will have to see what that is all about. Uh, Rajev is up here in the north, just there, right at that junction. And uh, these look like some sort of starting lines or fortification lines. You probably can't see them in the video because of the light. Uh, we've got our CRT, step-based CRT by the looks of it. Looks very straightforward, fast player, hopefully, which means we can get a couple of plays in and, and see how we feel. It's a nine turn game with, we're going to call that 100 counters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 140, 160 counters. So I'm very interested in how this one will play. A little summary here, important rules, the counters, the information on the counters, unit types, segments of play, all laid out very nicely there. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about getting this one to the table. Uh, Red Typhoon. And who were the, yeah, this is a, this is a reprint from a magazine, I believe, uh, from one of the Japanese magazines. I forget what it's, which magazine it, it is, but uh, developer Roger Miller, Nice graphic uh, graphic work by Richard Handwith. A map uh, from good old Joe Yaust. All right, so Patton's Vanguard. A Mike Ronella design. Uh, 
Charles Kibler did the map on this bad boy, so that's always nice. Charles has a fantastic reputation, and the pictures of the map look gorgeous. Let's see what it looks like in real life. IRL. Once again, a summary. Set in 1944, dealing with the Battle of Arakor. And this one's a little weightier set of rules. We're clocking in at uh, 16 pages. Let's see what uh, that's comprised of. As I mentioned to you earlier, area movement. It goes through, by the looks of it, rules in... I uh, know it's sequence of play here. So... It talks about stacking and control, and then it moves into weather, and then we go into movement. Uh, Conducting combat and ranged attacks. That will be interesting. Ranged attacks in area movement game are not very common. Uh, it's probably artillery, I would imagine. Uh, there's bombardment, which is separate as well. Attrition and retreat. Refitting. Supply. Black and white rules, as you can see. This looks like reinforcements, etc. Optional rules, etc. etc. etc get into it. A little bit of advertising for the War Diary, which is actually quite a nice magazine. A um, couple of guys that write for that magazine, I think, are kind of douchebags, but uh, I, I like the uh, magazine overall, and they don't have a game in it, which is nice for a change, and the articles can tend to be a little more historical. Now, here we have counters, getting back to this game. Uh, very few counters. We're dealing with a... looks like it's going to be a... Uh, tactical level game. There's no unit sizing on this, so um, I'm guessing here we're dealing with regiment, regimental scale by the looks of it. And maybe either squadrons or battalions or something like that. I hope that's in focus. I haven't really paid much attention to the camera. I've been so busy looking at the game. So we got that. We're looking at maybe a total of 50 combat counters. A lot of, a lot of bridging counters, some supply counters, and these must be control markers of some sort. Some sort. Yes. No. No. They're not. Well, we don't know what they're for, but we'll work it out later. You'll see that when we play it. And here we go. Now, this is not a full-size map. This is uh, like a double 11 by 17. Very different uh, scaled map compared to the last one. You can see the... Uh, let's just check and see what that, uh, what that means here. Map area, it's a number and probably a defensive bonus of some 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 sort here. I'm going to imagine. Top half, color-coded area, yada, yada, yada. Come on. Yeah, terrain effects. Yeah, so that makes sense. So very similar in concept anyway, at least to the... Uh, the um, some of the Vento Nuovo area based games you've got uh, these 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 tech markers these tech uh, commentaries in each one so sorry I just had a text message pop up uh, so I think we're we're in in sync on what everything is here interesting to see the river line here uh, there's a hard line, I guess that means, oh, it's a canal, okay, a canal and a river kind of blended in here together with bridge bridge lines. So I'll be interested to see how this actually plays and looking forward to reading the rules on this one because I do not know the, uh, the game particularly well or the battle for that matter. So we've got uh, game turn track, one, two, three, four, impulses, victory points on the side here. Historical leaders, air bombard. Okay, right. So, looks like a, a slightly different design than your standard uh, standard cookie cutter thing. So, I'll be looking forward to getting that to the table at some point very soon. Get rid of that, and uh, we'll go for it from there. So, thank you to Revolution Games for getting this to me quickly. I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks we'll probably get Red Typhoon up first, all things considered, and, and just given the, the length of the rules that I'll need to read, and then we'll have a look at Patton's uh, Vanguard after that. Um, 
which if you know me, could all change, right? We have uh, other plans for other games as well. I've got to try and work out how we're going to fit them all in in the time we have. Okay. Looking forward to talking to you more about that. Hope you, uh, both these games, I mean, and uh, hope you enjoyed the quick little look at these uh, little fellas. Later.